Hello cricket fans. Welcome to Just Top 10. Catch your breath, settle your heart, calm your nerves, and soak in it. Let it wash over you, luxuriate in the feeling, bask in your good fortune, whoever you are and wherever you are, you have just had the ride of a lifetime. The story of India series is that the fairy tales just kept coming. There were three match-altering partnerships involved. Ashwin was, in the words of his wife, crawling on the hotel room floor, the night before the last day of the Sydney test, with a back injury. And what of Mohammed Siraj, the son of an auto rickshaw driver, who came into the spotlight through a talent hunt contest, who stayed on the tour to honor his father, who died while Siraj was in Australia. Here are the top 10 top class, Indian team performances, in Border Gavaskar Trophy 2020-2021. Top 10, top class performances by Indian players, in 2020-21 Border Gavaskar Trophy. On number 10, Jasprit Bumrah. After Australia won the toss and chose to bat in the second test, it was important for India to get early wickets. Bumrah provided one with a delivery, that was angled in at Burns, and then held its line to take the edge. What made this dismissal impressive was the setup. Bumrah bowled three sharp short balls to head, from around the wicket, pushing him onto the back foot. Then came one slightly fuller and outside off. Head was stuck on the back foot and pushed it tentatively, getting a thick edge that carried to gully. This delivery from Bumrah, though, was quick, at 140.2 km per hour, and on the perfect length. It beat Smith's attempted leg glance, and just clipped the bail. Bumrah ended it on the fourth morning with a brute of a bouncer, that hit Cummins on the glove as he looked to fend, went on to hit the helmet, and looped up to second slip. On number 9, Ravindra Jadeja. Sharp hands dropped a couple of chances on this sort of surface. India vs Australia third test, day 2, Ravindra Jadeja was the star of the show, as India bowled Australia out for 338, to stage a strong comeback. Jadeja, who bowled only three overs on the first day, orchestrated India's return, by picking up four wickets for 62 runs, his third best figures in test cricket away from home. India vs Australia second test, day 3, the Indian innings ended, after the tailenders fell quickly at the end. India were bowled out for 326 runs, with a lead of 131 runs in the second test. Ravindra Jadeja got to his 15th test 50 moments. Jadeja was then dismissed by Mitchell Stark for 57. On number 8, Ajinkya Rahane. Ajinkya Rahane's gritty century against Australia in Melbourne, may go down as one of his most cherished test stunts, but former India captain, Sunil Gavaskar, is of the belief that, the 100 is of epic proportions, and one that will be etched in the history of Indian cricket. Beautiful punch. Rahane, little inside edge on it, gets it fine, towards the right. Field is slow. Oh, edge through the vacant. Rahane's 112 in India's first innings is his second test ton in Australia, following his epic 147 at the same venue six years ago. That's a nice stroke by Rahane. He just leant onto the front. Rahane's knock in the first innings created the base for India's series leveling eight wicket win in Melbourne. Why punish? Save it. India rode on Rahane's ton to get an important 131 run lead after they had bowled Australia out for 195. There it is, the breakthrough Australia have been searching for for some. On number 7, Washington Sundar. That's a beautiful strike. While fans and former cricketers are pleasantly surprised at India's tail wagging with number 7 and 8 scoring half centuries, Washington Sundar's father is upset at his son for not getting a test century. Sundar scored 62 off 144 balls, and shared a 123-run 7th wicket partnership, with Shardul Thakur, who made 67 on the third day of the fourth test between India and Australia, at the Gabba. Sundar was the ninth man to be dismissed. On number 6, Ravachandran Ashwin. Ashwin batted 128 balls in partnership with Hanuma Vihari to script one of India's great rear guards. Despite four test centuries to his name, Ashwin, who returned battered and bruised from the barrage of short pitched bowling at the SCG on Monday to help India draw the third test, set his undefeated 39 runs of 128 balls was one of his best batting efforts in what was a fantastic result for India, even if his desire was to hit the winning runs. Ashwin said, India were relieved after the great escape earned with a lot of grit and determination, and talked up the mood in the dressing room. Oh. On number 5, Shardul Takur. Takes it on. 
Shardul Tucker can bat. Known for his off-cutters and knuckle deliveries, not much has been talked about Shardul's batting in international cricket. Shardul's batting stole the thunder at the iconic Gabba, as the Aussies were sent on a leather hunt by the Mumbai Pacer, who notched up his maiden test 50 in some style. Shardul slammed a brilliant knock of 67 runs off 115 balls, in India's first innings of the ongoing fourth test against Australia. His innings was laced with 9 fours and 2 sixes, as Shardul posted a 121-run stand for the seventh wicket with Washington Sundar, who also notched up his maiden test half-century. The duo led India's fight back after being reduced to 186 for 6 and helped the visitors post 336 runs on the board, to concede a slender 33-run lead to Australia. No one's down there. Yeah. On number 4, Mohamed Siraj. Mohamed Siraj had a dream test debut. The Hyderabad fast bowler, overcame the death of his father, to stay on in Australia and when he got an opportunity, he made the most of it in the second test at the Melbourne cricket ground. Mohamed Siraj finished the Boxing Day test with figures of 3 for 37 and 2 for 40, thereby picking up 5 wickets across 2 innings, as Australia were bundled out for 195 and 200. It was heartwarming to see Mohamed Siraj lead Team India to the dressing room, as he picked up his maiden 5 wicket haul in the last innings of his first ever test series. Siraj finished with figures of 5 for 73 on day 4 of the 4th test, at the Gabba in Brisbane. Mohamed Siraj has become only the 5th Indian bowler to pick up a 5 wicket haul at the Gabba. On number 3, Shubman Gill. After a humiliating defeat against Australia in the opening test of the Border Gavaskar Trophy, the Indian team management decided to hand a test debut to Shubman Gill, who many believe is the next big thing in Indian cricket. The Indian team was under enormous pressure, as the batting lineup collapsed like a deck of cards in the second innings of the first test. In a high-pressure Boxing Day test, Gill announced himself at the big stage, by showing nerves of steel against Australia's world-class bowling attack. Right from the word go, Gill looked to take the attack to the opposition. Even in the third test, Gill continued to bat with the same rhythm, and went on to score his maiden test half-century. Shubin Gill left the cricketing world in awe, in the fourth test match, with a superb knock of 91 runs on day 5 of the fourth and final test, between India and Australia, at the Gabba in Brisbane. Good length too. Yeah! On number second, Shachwar Puyara. Oh, oh, Shetishwar Puyara added yet another feather to his illustrious cap on Tuesday, as he went past Virat Kohli to grab the second spot on the list of visiting Test batsmen who have faced the most balls in Australia since 2010. Puyar brought up his 28th Test 50, and the slowest of his career in 196 balls. Before getting out to Pat Cummins, on 56 off 211 balls. That's a glorious stroke from... Three of his slowest Test 50s have come in this series. The Sydney Test witnessed Puyara score back-to-back -back half centuries, off 174 and 170 balls, in the first and second innings respectively, to help India draw that game and keep the series alive. On number one, Rishabh Pant. Takes it on. Mad oh. Rishabh Pant blazed a brilliant 97 runs of 117 balls on day five of the third test, T at the Sydney Cricket Ground on Monday, to keep India in the hunt in the final inning. Oh, Rishabh Pant and his love affair with the fourth innings, continued at the Gabba, as India chased down a record target, to win the Border Gavaskar Trophy with three overs and three wickets to spare, on the last day of the series. He's got an injury with the groin, it goes, as far as the fence, India incredible! And he's got a couple of slips in, he probs it away. Pan averages 43.52 in test cricket, but in the fourth innings it shoots up to an astonishing 87, which includes 200s and four half centuries, one of which was the unbeaten 89 on Tuesday. He does this time, there's a man Edged and wide. Pant advances, blazes away. Oh, nice. Test cricket. 
Coming into bat with India chasing 407 to win, Pant was promoted to number 5, in the order ahead of Hanuma Vihari, Pant blazed away to the cusp of the third test century, before splicing a catch to Pat Cummins in gully off Nathan Lyon, just three short of a hundred. Thank you guys, for watching this video. We hope you liked this video. If you want to suggest us any topic, please comment below in comment box. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon. Take care of yourselves, friends and family members. Bye for now. Adios amigos.